everybody, welcome back. It's your boy Zobat Blood Collectibles coming to you with another reveal from Mezco 112. So before we go any further, please give this video a like. Also subscribe to the channel. Let's reach 2,000 subscribers before the end of the year. Come on everybody, just 300 subscribers. More to reach my second goal for my YouTube channel, which is... 2,000 subscribers. So let's go ahead and talk about this new female figure from Mesco 112, Tangerine. Um, badass for hire is freaking awesome. Now this is not just everything that she's coming with that they show here. There's more to come. This is just a preview of what they got. At least they are showing off some of this stuff. It looks like she's going to be part of the Royal uh, Casino uh rumble society like the one that we got from i'll show him off later i already got him and i got him because uh i really want this figure so i can have her go with him and they go good together as well so i'm so glad to have the rumble society figures in my collection and this is going to be a dope piece it seems like she's going to have the silicone body like they did with the ghost uh spider spider gwen that mesco just bought out like a month ago when everyone started getting their uh, orders in and not only that she's going to be the second female with the new body as well with the double jointed elbows and the double jointed knees with a me metal skeleton from the neck all the way to the thighs and then everything else are plastic joints which is freaking awesome way better than the batman uh silicone uh ske metal skeleton body that we got which was horrible but this is going to be freaking awesome so she does come with a <clears throat> She does come with a katana sword and a katana sword sheath. And then she also comes with the glasses, a handgun with rotating bullet chambers, and two pistols. And look at those things. Those look like James Bond type, golden. Just like her with her golden uh, things on her um, her golden, golden bracelets on her wrist, which is freaking awesome. She also comes with an Uzi and a rifle gun. And these are just some of the things that she comes with. Now, one more thing that uh, I want to tell you guys is that with Mezco 112, they always, as you can see, they didn't even show off the holster that she had. So, like I said, they still got a lot to show you guys. And um, one thing about their main uh, line, which is Rumble Society, they have all, they the ones that come with almost like 18 exchangeable hands, uh, four to five heads at times. Sometimes it could be three, but it's a, it's a minimum of three, no less than three. And it could go up to five. Like Superman, we got like seven, but that's not even Rumble Society. But yeah, they kill it when they go out all on their own line. And this girl's in heels as well. So it's going to be freaking awesome. I am excited for this figure. And uh, I just can't wait. But I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below as uh, we move forward. Not only that, I did pick up some Matrix figures. I do have one in hand and then also one on the way. It's going to be here forever. Whenever it gets here, I'll review that one as well. So a review is definitely coming soon for Trinity. Just got it from PC Toys, which is also bringing out a Thor figure. So let's go over that real quick. All right, so here we are with PC Toys on my right. And then on my left, we do have Mesco 112 Thor. They both look really, really good. Uh, one thing, I just don't know which one is going to be better. I do love the uh, way that his arms look in the Mesco one. But man, he's beefy and he's huge on the other one. And I love for the fact that with PC Toys, we at least get that shiny uh, metal piece. But at the same time... I love the way that Thor looks on Mesco because you actually get to see the armor piece and not just regular soft good clothing that we see on the PC toy. So if it's up to me, whichever one come out first, I'm definitely going to get the PC toy if it come out first. And then also, I definitely got to get my Mesco 112 figure as well and use them to my advantage. One for photos, maybe one for shelf. But I want to know your opinion, which one is better in your eyes like what you're looking at right now which one do you think is better which one are you gonna go with all right so here we are right here there's a vote i screenshot this as well but as you can see there uh we got six inch thor a six inch plus thor 
And then we also got Mezco Thor. So which one, the six inch plus or we got Mezco Thor? So hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Let's go ahead and move on with some more exciting news that we got uh, for you guys today. Okay, everyone. So here we are with Dot Not Nocturnal. This is uh, Rumble Society Con 2024 reveal. They just revealed this car. I uh, know I knew this thing was coming out, but I didn't know when. And we finally getting a good look at the car now, and it looks freaking awesome. What I saw in the photos, uh, I thought I took a screenshot of it, but unfortunately I didn't. So I'm just going off for of this one. This is the one that I screenshot it earlier. And it looks freaking awesome. Definitely going to get it. I wish. I do really wish that I was at New York Comic Con. Hopefully next year I can start going to some of those Comic Cons. Uh, like San Diego Comic Con and uh, LA Comic Con. So I can get some more content for you guys. And actually see it myself. And not only that, make sure I have my money stacked. Because there's some stuff that I want to buy. Like if I was down there, I definitely would have bought the Dot Nocturnal figure. Even though I already have it on pre-order. Definitely would have got it right then and there. And also some more stuff. So it sucks that people are, are down there and they just grabbing two or three of them. But man, this car is going to be so dope. So I'm so happy to add this into the collection with Mesco. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Also, we're going to stick with Mesco because there is something else that I want to show off. And it is this big guy right here. And, uh, dang, I forgot his name. But anyways, this is another reveal that they showed. This thing is huge. It's going to be a monster type figure with a bat. This is also from Rumble Society. So this is something that you might need in your collection as well. Probably go with Dot Nocturnal or you could put him with whatever you want that's with the royal uh the royal society from mesco 112 now i picked up a figure last year that they were showing off for rumble society and um it was a big big figure i forgot his name let me see if i can find the box all right and his name was slugfest now that figure is huge and i still haven't took no photos with him I did do a review on him and left it at that, but now I want to take some dope photos with him and add him in to some of my projects that I'm working on right now. It's going to be freaking awesome, so stay tuned to the channel for that. Let's go ahead and move on with some more toy news. All right, you guys, so here we are with McFarland DC Multiverse showing off maybe a two-pack or just a one-pack of the King Kong versus Batman. This is uh, pretty amazing. See how tall that King Kong figure is? Uh, it's Monsterverse, it says right there, DC. So I'm pretty sure they might even come out with Godzilla vs. The Justice League or Godzilla vs. Superman as Kong vs. Batman. That's going to be freaking awesome. So uh, this looks freaking awesome. If McFarlane's doing it, I, I love these kind of animal figures and I definitely will buy the animal figure even if it comes with the two-pack because it does look nice and it's dope to have these things in your collection because you could basically put these with any uh, photos uh, any like if you do photo photography if you do photography toy photography you can add this dude anywhere and it's gonna come out nice so that is freaking awesome now besides all that i do have some news for myself and for this channel i am currently right working on some projects as uh i got the cooler project so i got my cooler project and also uh my blade project that i'm working on as well i'm working on justice league project i'm still waiting on avengers only because i need that thor figure that we just saw so hopefully pc bring it out before um or six inch plus line bring it out before mesco you can go ahead and get that but i'm hoping that they bring it out a lot sooner than to wait to next year but anyways here are some of the photos that i'm working with with uh my Mesco Blade figure because I never really took time to take photos with him and actually use them in a dope bomb way. So with this full photo album video, it's going to be telling the story of Blade trying to kill all the, uh, the vampires, the higher elite vampires that run all their entertainment, run everything from Hollyweird all the way to... Uh, to housing, everything, just everything. These are high elites, and there's 12 of them plus one. The plus one, you will have to watch it to see who's the main one that's leading everything. 
but I am working on these photos and I'm trying my best to to bring out the best in the Mezco Blade figure. And also what I wanted to do, I was like, you know, what's the best way to shoot Blade? And I was watching, like, I was laying down in my bed and I was asleep and then I started thinking about the Matrix and Blade being in the Matrix. So I was like, oh, I got it. So I was like, how about I will shoot the Blade photos in a... Uh, in a matrix type scenery and what i mean by that is the color of the the green the darker colors which is something that he could still stand out where you can actually see the figure and then also because of his cape flowing i did swap out his cape with solomon kane and put the solomon kane cape on him which looks freaking awesome because i like it better than the one that he comes with and not not only that i just wanted to recreate some of the matrix scenes as him jumping on walls jumping in main air doing the missing bullet thing that uh neo does and basically like being a neo in a vampire world as he's going around killing how all these higher elites that's trying to run the world according to the way they want to and Blade is here and he's not having it. But he's definitely going to need some help as I'm going to add in some new figures with the storyline. I already added in um, Natasha, uh, Natasha from Black Widow. She is Black Widow. She's also in here as well as you can see her there. And then this is one of the main higher elites that I was telling you about earlier. This is number 13. And yes, this, this body is from the Royal Casino. Uh... Uh, what's his name? Gomez. And I took off the head and then I put in another Rumble Society uh, head scope of, um, I can't think of the name right now, but I used that head scope. And it just so happened to match perfect. So I just went out here and used it. And man, this looks so dope, you guys. And uh, I'm working really hard night and day to present to you guys something freaking awesome that you have never seen before with a blade figure from Mesco 112. And as you can see, I'm still in the process of uh, doing some things. Like, I'm far from being over with this project, but I was trying to get it done before uh, the end of this month. So it could be like a Halloween tree, maybe the end of November. And that way it could still be a dope piece. But you guys, it is coming soon. The project is coming soon and it's going to be freaking awesome. Keep in mind, I do have like four issues of this coming out. So this is the first issue and it's going to be uh, like five, six, seven minutes long. Of nothing but some dope photos telling a story as well and i will be using the like my voice to not voice acting but i'm going to be narrating stories so that way you guys could get a good understanding of what is going on and why it's going on so that is freaking awesome that um man blade is a dope figure you guys i think mesco this is probably one of mesco's top uh, five figures of all time. He came out to be one of the, the best. Even though he came out way a long time ago. He's still like w one of the best from that era to be. Uh, he's still one of the best. And he still holds up to this day basically. And one thing I do want to show off. And this is the last piece. And we'll call it a day. And that is the Matrix figure that I was talking about earlier in the, in the video. Which is PC Toys Follow the White Rabbit. Imperial Hacker 112 scale collector collectible figures. Alright, you guys, so here's Trinity and everything that she comes with for all of us that didn't even know that they made Matrix figures. They are expensive, $100 plus for each figure. I think Neo is almost $200, $250 by itself. But they they are nice figures. I have to say, like, I took her out the box. I didn't really fool around with her, but I was able to just to ch check out the articulation on the figure. And, man, I was really surprised on how dope the articulation is on the figure. One thing I'm kind of rare about with Neo is I'm hoping that he's be the size of Blade because Trinity is, like, right dead on a, at 6 inch and maybe even shorter than a 6 inch, as she should be. She's a girl. But at the same time, I'm just hoping that... um. That Neil will be the size of Blade and not shorter. Because Keanu Reeves is kind of tall anyways. But with that being said, I'm so excited to have this figure. Going to do some dope photos and finish telling my story of Blade. Uh, uh, the Blade 
project that I'm working on. So with that being said, you guys, you can simply help out the channel. I did break my leg. So I'm out of work. I'm at home. I'm still working because I'm working on my YouTube channel. It's like my second job. But at the same time, you guys, I am I am trying my best to bring you guys the best content that I can for my channel. So please give this video a like. Also, subscribe to the channel. Help this channel grow. Let's reach 2,000 subscribers. Also, if you want to support this channel, go ahead and donate a dollar in the, in the wherever it is in the community thing. That you'll see underneath the video if you want to but you don't have to but my main thing is just like and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next video if you could just do that that's more than giving a dollar okay you guys so i see you all in the next one thank you so much have a great day